I know that this lipstick does not go with this outfit, but I also don't care, so. Today is the 17th of September. I've so far this month read three books, which is more than I will read in one month ever. So, yay, progress. The first book that I read this month was The Beauty of Darkness by Mary E. Pearson. I have filmed a review of this, however, if you like the book a lot and you don't really like it, you want to talk about why they didn't like it, I would not watch it. So <laughs> I didn't enjoy it, I was really quite disappointed with it. It just... There were a lot of things that I didn't like and I didn't enjoy, so... In short, the characters felt really flat for some reason in this one. It was anticlimactic, it was confusing, and too long. Why was it this long? <laughs> There was no need! There was no need for it to be this length. I think initially I gave it three stars and then I took it down to two because I just didn't think it was worth three stars. So. The next book I read this month was Empire of Storms by Sarah J Maas. Now I really liked it, I had a good time reading it with Amy, it was really good fun. We read it like at the same time and we finished it on the same day and that was really nice. <laughs> but I wanted this one to be more emotional for me. I wanted more emotional vulnerability from these characters, but there was mostly only physical vulnerability, so. I did film a review of this when I first finished it, however, I don't think that- I think I got a bit caught on the emotional thing because I just finished it, and I think the, one of the problems was that I just- when I finished it, I was like, oh my god, for about an hour, and then after that I kind of forgot about it, which was a shame, and ah, uh, yeah, so that's that. <laughs> I always want to say which one my favourite in the series is, but all my mind is saying is, a Court of Mist and Fury is my favourite, but that's not part of that series, it's just by Sarah J Maas. I don't know, I think I am enjoying it. I am enjoying it, definitely, and <laughs> I am enjoying it. I don't know which one's my favourite. It might still be Queen of Shadows, I think that one's still a five star, whereas I gave this one four stars. But yes, read that one. The third book I read this month so far was The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger. I had to read this one for English Lit, so I did. It was important and we're studying it at the moment and <laughs> I have mixed feelings about this one actually because I don't think I particularly enjoyed it as a story or just a novel that I would just read. I don't like Holden and I don't really like the plot. It did feel like nothing happened however when we go through it in class and analyse it then I really enjoy it a lot more and I can appreciate that JD Salinger is a really good writer so I like that and I can I don't mind working on it however just as a story, it's not really something that I enjoyed. Having said that, I gave it three stars because the writing in it was is just really, really, really good and it's so subtle and clever and stuff like that. I just, I really like that. However, if you're looking to read this in, in not an analytical, analytical way, I don't think you'd enjoy it. I, I don't know because it's a classic and I can't really give a review for a classic. It's not a classic that I'd be like, here, read this, everyone because I don't think there's enough like accessible layers to, jo to enjoy it on a surface level, if you know what I mean. Because things like Pride and Prejudice, or maybe Lady Chatterley's Lover, stuff like that, there's all Great Gatsby. There's a definite, like the plot is very, very plot-like. It's quite traditional in that sense, whereas if you read this without analysing it and thinking about <laughs> all the under subtexty bits, I think you won't enjoy it as much as you might if you read The Great Gatsby and stuff like that if you know what I mean. <laughs> Not that The Great Gatsby doesn't have any fantastic subtext, it does. It just, it. I feel like it's more pleasing on a surface level. So there we go. I hopefully will read another four books by the end of the month because I need to. I need to read The Kite Runner, I need to read SBQR, and I want to read Crooked Kingdoms, so I'm rereading Six of Crows at the moment. And I'm also reading Purple Hibiscus because Max from Well Done Books is running a read-along and it's basically just read all of Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie's books by the end of the year. So, and I've never read any of her books, and I've always wanted to, but I've been a bit nervous about it. So I was really pleased that only announced that read-along, because I was like, I'll do it this time, I'm gonna do it. So, and I'm actually really enjoying Purple Hibiscus. So, yay! Those are the books you should probably see by the end of the month. I'm not really sure. We'll see. <laughs> Thank you for watching, I hope you have a nice day, and I shall see you later. Goodbye.